You know, you could go anywhere you like now. I'm aware of that. Oh, you could become a raider. You could join my crew. The crew of your non-existent ship? Well, with that attitude, you're never going anywhere, are you? She doesn't understand. Yes, I am free. Denarius is dead. Yet, it doesn't feel like it should. You thought killing him would solve everything. But it doesn't. I suppose not. I thought if I didn't need to run and fight to stay alive, I would finally be able to live as a free man does. But how is that? My sister is gone, and I have nothing. Not even an enemy. You're not reminiscing about the good old days of being hunted, I hope. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. It's just... difficult to overlook the stain that magic has left on my life. If I seem bitter, it's not without cause. Perhaps it is time to move forward. I just don't know where that leads. Do you? You're still blaming magic for everything. Think about it, Hawk. Look at what happened to your mother. Look at the life you've had to lead. Is there anyone whose life has been touched by magic that actually benefits? Blaming magic isn't the answer. For every mage such as you, Hawk, there are a dozen more too weak to handle their power. Them, I fear, as should you, as should anyone. But what's important now is moving forward. I only wish I knew where that led. You want the answer right now? That would spoil all the fun. The future of a slave is never uncertain. But I am no longer a slave. Perhaps it is time I remember that. Thank you, Hawk. I would never have thought to call a mage my friend. Yet here you are. Wherever the future leads, I hope it is at your side. Take a look at this. A Blade of Mercy? I remember these. You see them in the Imperium. Replicas of the sword Archon Hasarian used to kill Andraste. This one looks finely crafted. So they sell these things at every market stand in Minrathus? Hardly. Here, let me show you. These are gifts of honor, given to those who have performed a service for the Imperium. Denarius coveted them, as I recall. You don't talk about the Imperium much. It's not a place I remember fondly. Doesn't the Chantry forbid mages to rule over men? <laughs> ah, yes. Magic is meant to serve man, and not rule over him. In the Imperium, they say that means magic should serve the greater good, which they claim the Magisters do. Do not believe it. What do the Magisters do that's so bad? What you call the Circle of Magi rules the Imperium. They control the Chiantry as well as the Templars. They claim the Magisters are governed by holy law, but they are the law. They do as they please. All of them. So they all use forbidden magic? The more powerful the mage, the higher he rises in the Senate. He makes the laws, he determines what is acceptable. Everyone who wishes to compete must do the same, or be crushed. Perhaps it wasn't always this way, but it is now. The slave trade is still in operation in the Imperium. It varies from one Archon to the next. One outlawed it many years ago. He was quickly assassinated. Tevinter would crumble without slaves. The Imperium's elite know no other way. Seems like a slave rebellion would end that. There are rebellions all the time, actually. Most of them end... poorly. The Senate always unites when faced with sedition. One day, things will change. Then the Magisters will see just how fragile their hold is. I heard that the Imperium has been at war with the Kunari for decades. Ever since the Kunari landed on the island of Saharan, yes. Eighty years ago? Perhaps more. The Archon demanded aid from the rest of Thedas. It didn't get him far. They've been at war a long time. The Kunari only ever wanted Saharan, which they have. 
The Imperium has made numerous attempts to retake the island, without real success. I believe the Canari are saving their strength, building a massive fleet. When they wish true war, we will know. Are the Canari that strong? They once fought all the lands of Thedas to a standstill. If they wanted to conquer the Imperium, they would. From what I saw on Sir Heron, they will not relent. They believe even more strongly than the Magisters that they are in the right. The blade is yours, if you want it. For me? Yes. I think I'd like that. I'll think of the irony as I wield it. Thank you, Hawk. Ah, the champion of Kirkwall. Your reputation precedes you. Forgive me. I should introduce myself properly. My name is Nancio Caldera Lanos. I am a noble from the beautiful country of Antiva. It must have taken a lot of practice to say that all in one breath. It's mostly to impress the ladies, I assure you. I've come to ask your help, champion. Hiding among the Dalish is an elven assassin I've been chasing for months. He's a master manipulator who will endanger even his own kind to ensure his survival. You don't seem the type to hunt assassins. Why are you after him? At first, it was merely duty to Antiva. But after losing so many good men to him, it became personal. He's nothing but a murderer, a thief, and a liar. You want me to use my wily, wily ways to find out where the Dalish are hiding this elf? That is part of it, yes. This elf is very dangerous, and he must be brought in before he kills again. I've heard of your dealings with the Dalish. I was hoping you could go where my men could not. Find out where the assassin is hiding, and apprehend him. I'll see what I can do. One of the Dalish, a woman named Variel, is a friend of his. I suggest speaking with her first. We won't be here when you get back. We got a campsite outside the city. Look for us there. Greetings, champion. That is what they call you in your city, isn't it? Did you need something? I hear there is a criminal hiding among the Dalish. He is not among us. This criminal of yours is set up in a cave away from our camp. He said there would be people looking for him, and to tell anyone who asked where he was. I thought the point of hiding was not to be found. He said he didn't want to endanger our people by asking us to lie for him. Not something you'd expect from a cruel and evil murderer, is it? He'll be waiting for you at the cave. Good luck trying to reach him, however. Now you! I wasn't expecting. I thought I smelled Antivan leather. <laughs> Isabella! If it isn't my favorite pirate wench. <laughs> Shouldn't you be dead by now? I could say the same, my dear. It seems we were both fortunate to find powerful friends, no? How do you do? My name is Zevran Aranai, adventurer and occasional assassin. I've heard about you. You helped the hero of Ferelden stop the Blight. At your service, my friend. I must admit, I was waiting for an assault by the Crows, not the mighty champion of Kirkwall. I'll assume you're not talking about birds. Oh, please, do not tell me you know nothing of the Antivan Crows. We are the finest guild of assassins, an object of fear throughout the lands for any man with wealthy enemies. <laughs> or, I should say, they are. I am no longer a crow, a fact they find unacceptable. There must be more to it than you leaving the guild. That is offense enough to the crows, believe me. I may have also killed the last four assassins they sent after me, and uh, other men. Oh, and the guildmaster. In fact, if you are a crow, you might make a fortune bringing me in. <laughs> you should consider a career change. <laughs> no, really. How do you two know each other? How does anyone know Isabella? Yes, well, you'll never know Isabella again if you keep that up. How do you know I'm the champion? Slayer of Kunari, Deep Roads Explorer, and may I say, one fine specimen of manhood. You underestimate your fame. I thought you'd be taller. Ah, let me guess. 
A man named Nuncio has asked you to capture a dangerous killer, yes? What did he say this time? That I killed his wife, butchered his parents, sold his children into slavery? Or did he tell you he was a lawman from Antiva, charged with apprehending a ridiculously handsome fugitive? He also said you were a wanted murderer. Oh, indeed I am. Uh, but technically, I imagine everyone here can rightfully claim that title. Bring me to Nancio if you wish, but I warn you, he surely intends to kill you. The crows do not like loose ends. Unlike myself. But you are a man who can clearly handle himself, yes? Hmm? Why worry? So, you can either tie me up, gag me, and then manhandle me. Or you can take me to Nancio. Which will it be, I wonder? You're very compliant for a fugitive. Compliant, yes, and very bendy. But truthfully, I know when I am outmatched. I would rather take my chances against the Crows. You know him best. What do you think? I've had better. I meant about letting him go or not. Oh, right. I'd let him go. I'm not going to hand you over to someone who lied to me. As a suggestion, you might wish to deal with Nuncio. If you don't, he will only come after you. It's been more than a pleasure, my dear champion. Fare you well. I let your assassin go. Was I not supposed to do that? You had him? And you let him go? I am thoroughly disappointed. No one fails the crows and lives. Ah, poor stupid Nuncio. The crows do like that saying, but I am living proof it's a lie. <laughs> Why they insist on thinking they can kill people like you and the warden, <laughs> I will never guess. Let me tell you, it's a burden I bear on a daily basis. You are nothing but a traitor and a coward, Zevron. You'll die here! Yes, well... Let's see how that works out for you. Excellent. Killing my former brothers in arms is oddly satisfying. I've little reward to offer you, champion, but perhaps this will serve as a token of my thanks. My dear Isabella, it has been a delight to see you again. You travel in fine company. That's it? You're leaving? What about sex? Ah, Isabella, I did so miss you. That's because you have piss-poor aim. Thankfully, you have other uses. Ha! <laughs> Let me guess. That's your final answer? Three mages have fled to Ferelden, and you have intervened to protect them, as if it is your right to do so. What other answer did you expect, your majesty? A maybe might have been nice. I do not deal in maybes. I deal in cold, hard facts. As should you. Perhaps when Ferelden next chooses a king, it will be one that takes his duty to the Maker seriously. Well, that was awkward. How do you do, Your Majesty? I've been better. Manlier too, come to think of it. This is the champion of Kirkwall. Right, I'm Alistair. Oh, uh, uh, King of Ferelden. And this is Tegan, my uncle. Sort of. I'm actually Tegan. I'm only sort of his uncle. Your Majesty, may I say what an honor it is to meet you? Well, you could, but you'd be the first today. I fought at Ostagar. What happened there was a great tragedy. Ah, uh, yes, it was. Sadly, Loghain still lives. Say, weren't you a Grey Warden once? That's the rumor. Wait, weren't you? That's the rumor. Huh, I guess we get around. I was hoping we could talk. Would have been better timing before being emasculated by Meredith, but I'm not picky. Things are looking up. It's not often I get called on to meet with foreign leaders. I know you came here from Lothering. A Ferelden refugee that did well for himself, against all odds. I have to admit, I was hoping your influence in Kirkwall might be of use. 
Things haven't been going well with Orlais. Without a Viscount here, however, there's only the Knight Commander to deal with. You were having an argument about mages. Yes, well, apparently I don't feel the same way about mages as the Chantry does. So, we're in disagreement. That means they get nasty. They're like that. Sounds like the Circle is better off in Ferelden. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Sadly, I don't control the Circle. I can only deal with mages outside the Circle, of which there aren't many. Aren't they in your kingdom? Why not just kick the Templars out? Ha! Ah, easier said than done. Doesn't mean you shouldn't try. We'll see what comes of it. Ferelden had a blight to contend with, remember? We're not exactly at our strongest. A lot of your people fled to Kirkwall, you know. I know. I wish I could have helped them. Their blight devastated the kingdom, and afterwards, well, it hasn't exactly been peaceful. They're welcome back, of course, as are you. But after so many years away, would you still consider it home? Ferelden will always be my home. I hope we see you back there someday. We could use someone like you, champion. Is there to be a war, then? I hope not. You're more optimistic than I am. Empress Selene is doing her best. Orlais isn't the most stable place right now. What's happening in Orlais? Oh, the usual. Attempted assassinations, uprising, fancy parties with stinky cheeses. Apparently, some Orlesians think it would be grand to get their lost province back. Well, we won't let them swoop down on us, will we? That's right. Swooping is bad. Hypothetically speaking, you could fix the no Viscount situation. It's not a terrible idea, really. A lot of people would benefit from Hawk running this town. That's asking a lot. It's tempting, but I'm sorry to say that my support won't mean much without the support of the Templars. I suppose it doesn't matter. I was hoping to have your help before Meredith got wind of my arrival, but that's done now. What you can do is protect Kirkwall. It will take someone like you to keep it from falling apart. Protect Kirkwall from what, exactly? You ask me, the biggest threat to this city just walked out the door. But maybe that's the ex-Templar in me talking. Well, I suppose we should be getting back. We should. The hero of Ferelden should be back in Denerim by now. You're always so formal. He has a name, you know. Master Hawk, I must speak with you. You're the only one that can help. The Wardens mounted an expedition to retrace your route through the deep roads to discover whatever it is you found years ago. It's a fool's errand, and my poor brother is with them. Nathaniel Howe. Nathaniel? Well, put me in a dress and call me a Templar. How is the old boy doing? He's missing, Sirrah. Haven't you been listening? I'm not worried about Nathaniel. He's crawled out of worse places alive. I take it you and Nathaniel have some history? Certainly. We were in the Wardens together in Amaranthine. Hordes of Darkspawn, psychotic broodmothers, usual Warden business. I wonder if Nathaniel ever found a sense of humor. Why were Wardens interested in our expedition? Maker, help me. I have no idea. My brother never tells me these things. Wardens range into the deep roads all the time. But he's been gone far too long. Something terrible has happened. I'd tell the Wardens, but by the time I reach Vigil's Keep... My poor brother... Do you know any other details? I know almost nothing. Nathaniel never speaks about the Wardens. It was only happenstance that I heard your name mentioned. Please, go back to the deep roads. Find my brother. You must. Nathaniel Howe. You're the champion of Kirkwall, aren't you? And... Anders! Making friends as always, I see. There's no escaping you, it seems. I'm special that way. That's one way to put it. Delilah says you followed my expedition's route. Why? 
You went further into the Deep Roads than anyone believed possible. The First Warden himself ordered this investigation. I was offered a generous share of the salvage, plus extra coin up front to discourage any... curiosity. I don't remember drawing anyone a map to the Taig. Who told you about it? An unfortunate dwarf named Bartrand. We weren't sure his information was reliable, but contacting you or Varric was deemed risky. You trusted my turncoat of a brother, but thought talking to us was risky. That's idiotic. We feared you might return if you learned of our interest in the Taig. It looks like you met heavy resistance. After the Warden Commander killed the Architect, we thought it would be decades before the Deep Roads would be infested again. The Warden's allies assured us these tunnels would still be mostly clear. But it seems they were wrong. Who is the Architect? The Architect was the first of the speaking and thinking Darkspawn. Very dangerous. He spread his gift to other Darkspawn. The Disciples. Fortunately, their numbers are few. They seem to know a great deal about Darkspawn. Are these allies dwarves? No, not dwarves. It's complicated. Let's just say we live in strange times. As much as I enjoy the company, is there anything keeping us in these Darkspawn-infested tunnels? I cannot leave now. When we were attacked, I was separated from the rest of my expedition. Some of them may yet live. We must go deeper into the tunnels to rescue them. Who else could be alive? Some wardens survived the initial ambush. I think the dwarf we brought from Vigil's keep survived. But who still lives? Only the Maker knows. We have survivors to find. Let's go. We should move. Stay alert for Darkspawn. Master Howe, you live. Tamarin, good man. Are there any other survivors? Hopefully, up ahead. Well met are strangers in the belly of the earth. I hope Sir Fenley won't mind, but I set up the explosives here and there. Figured I'd blow up as many of the spawn as I could before I embraced the stone. How did you manage to get Kunari explosives? These aren't Kunari explosives. They're Dwarven made, and don't you forget it. Temerin's cousin Dwarkin made the explosives back in Vigil's keep. Aye, and that he did. Before the sodden Kunari forced him into hiding. What were you doing with these explosives? We were prepared to do extensive excavations around the Taig you found. A few well-placed booms prove most efficacious at clearing rubble. These explosives could kill a great many Darkspawn. Temerin! The way behind us is clear. Send word to the Wardens in case we don't make it. Aye. I've set explosives all along the tunnels. Blow up as many of the sodding spawn as you can. Luck to you both. Carver? Well, just like old times. Still coming to the rescue after all these years. I have it under control. But thanks. You know each other. He is my brother. Don't you have archdemons to hunt or something? There's a considerable gap between blights, you know. Apparently just long enough for people to forget. We wardens don't have that luxury, though. We don't have time for this. The Darkspawn approach. For the first time since I've been down here, I don't sense a single Darkspawn. We've won. The route to the surface should be safe now. Because of you, I will see my sister and nephew again. Please, take this with my blessing. I apologize I couldn't answer all your questions. You may have them yet in the fullness of time. Stay safe, Nathaniel. You as well.